Simpson. I'm with Palmetto Truck and RV. We're located in Anderson, South Carolina, midway between Atlanta, Georgia, and Charlotte, North Carolina, just about one mile off of Interstate 85. We thought it'd be a good idea to include a short video and sort of give you a virtual tour of the unit that we have listed. And uh, before we get started, just a couple things we want to point out. We do things a lot differently than a conventional dealership. There are no salespeople here, there's no games, there's no gimmicks, there's no uh, document preparation fees or administrative fees. We're very passionate about the RV lifestyle and our goal is just to help you get there. We can help you with uh, electric brakes, we can help you with uh, a hitch if you need it. Uh, any of those things that you may need, we'll be glad to take care of for you. Our goal is really just to give you the information that you need so that you can make an informed decision. Uh, we're featuring a 2007 Mini SL by Gulfstream. The model number is 23DBG. This unit weighs right in at 3,400 pounds. The box is approximately uh, 20 feet long, just over 20 feet. I believe it's 20 feet, four inches. It's a great choice for uh, couples or small families. Uh, at this time, we'd like to take a couple of laps around it so you could get a, a good idea. And we're going to be sure to point out any defects. And I take this opportunity to tell you if you have any questions whatsoever, just give us a ring, shoot us an email if you have a question about measurements or capacities or anything like that. The first thing we'd like to point out is it has a, a laminate exterior. We, we like those. They're much easier to keep clean. Uh, has the diamond plate accent on the rear bumper. Also, one very important thing, this unit is brand new. It's never been used. It's never been sold. It's never been camped in. We were able to purchase some bank inventory from, um, it's a complicated story, but there was a chain of dealerships that uh, had some financial difficulties in the recession. And for about 18 months, they were kind of on lockdown or whatever. And when the dust settled, there was some unsold new units that uh, had to be cleared out. And we were able to take advantage of that and pick up half a dozen or so. And this is one of them. So the diamond plate accent on the rear bumper, uh, it has a what looks to be about a 12 foot rollout on him, which is really nice. Um, I like the fact that it has the, the black uh, framed windows as opposed to the white ones. If you're a veteran RVer, you know that it's impossible to keep all that stuff clean. That trim gets that fungus or whatever it is on it. But this has the black windows. That's kind of neat. Um, has a storage area here. Has the, the diamond plate stone guard as well as the stabilizing jacks on each corner. Uh, every unit we sell will have new full LP bottles as well as a brand new battery. Uh, also, we'd like to point out at this time that uh, we have two rules, mechanically perfect, cosmetically excellent, and uh, when you come here on the day to, to pick up uh, this unit, we'll spend all the time we need, sort of a Camping 101 class or an orientation. We'll go through each and every item with you. We'll talk about all of its features and all of its capabilities so that you're familiar with uh, how to use it and uh, when you go out on your first trip. The nice uh, storage area here is an outside shower. Uh, the waste gates for the, uh, the gray water and uh, solid waste. And we'll come on in. There's a uh, this is not an entry level price point trailer. It has the radius door. There's a peep hole, something you don't always see, as well as uh, the screen. I apologize for the low light. It's a little overcast this afternoon, but it'll give you some kind of an idea of what we've got going on here. We're gonna start up front. There's nice storage uh, across the top with this cargo netting to keep everything secure. And then there's cubby holes and a place for the television up front. Uh, I don't know if you can get a, a good idea of what's going on here, but a little countertop space as well as um, some additional storage. There's also a, a sliding door here where you can access that front storage area. Uh, two burner range. Nice little sink, microwave, uh, the range hood with the fan, uh, nor cold fridge uh, with the freezer compartment, and an additional storage or uh, counter space 
on top. There's a monitoring station here so you can understand what's going on with all your tank levels and the condition of your battery. Um, you can kind of get a shot of the dinette area here. Here are the manuals. Um, we have the measurements on the bed. We uh, try to include those on the listing. But uh, you have lounging area by day. And then uh, at night time, if you're just one person, you may just break one of these down. But if you're a couple or uh, the kids pile up with you like they do me, you'd break both of them down. And this is a pretty simple process. The bed is virtually the width of the trailer. Um, so even for tall guys, that's not going to be a problem to spread out. And it's just, uh, I think, approximately 60 inches wide. But if you want to get exact measurements on that, we'll be glad to get those for you. There's a bank of cabinets over the dinette and a nice window here at the dinette. Um, a nice food pantry here. And then uh, a closet or a shirt closet with a, a place to hang some things up. We have another uh, countertop area here with some additional storage. And let's take a shot of the bathroom here. A very efficient bathroom. We have a shower as well as the toilet and you can see everything's still in plastic. This unit was winterized as well. So uh, again, if you have any questions, anything you'd like to discuss, we're laid back, we're easy, we don't rush into anything, we move kind of slow. So just give us a call, shoot us an email, and uh, I apologize for the hokey video, but this is the way we do it. Thanks so much for having a look at our listing.